Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Disciples of Alion. I'm Alion Rogue Dodgers, and today we're going to be looking at a hunting technique that you are going to be able to use for the rest of your career in Entropia Universe, and that is kiting. Now, kiting comes with a benefit of you negate any damage that would otherwise be given to you. The downside is you do not gain any defensive skills. Now, if we just go ahead and start hunting some of these, I'm gonna be doing that with a cheap little Malud recruit eagle. So I'm gonna take a bit of damage before I kill anything. What well, we're gonna notice is that we're gonna take damage. We are going to get hit and 13 damage. As you can see, even for someone who is rather high evader skill, like me, um, I'm still going to be hit quite often. So even if I were to do this, I would uh, straight up and die, no matter how long I've been playing. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you can kite this. That's actually a pretty fair loot. And the way you do that is that first and foremost you go into the Entropia main menu, you hit options, you hit gameplay, and you make sure that this setting here, locking ignores view, that one is ticked in. You want the green checker on that one. And the second thing you want to make sure is that you want to have, if you press F10, you see the active set you want to have interact on F. It should be the default, but if you don't have it, uh, you open up action library or press N and you type for interact and you press L and you drag this one. Okay, you drag that one to the actual spot you want it, whether it be that one or you want it on mouse 5 or whatever, you put it where you want it. But you need to have interact in order to kite. So with that done, we press back on L and now we go ahead and kite. So thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you tag the mob and when you are kiting, you want it to be the one that is closest to you because otherwise it's going to start tagging other things. Now, as I run, I'm going to have third person and I'm going to be strafing. So I'm going to use A and I'm going to use D. I'm not going to use the S button. I can use S and just jump, press F and left click, but then I start walking. So if I do with A instead, I jump, left click, jump, interact, left click. Then I keep running and keep the momentum. So that is actually kind of crucial to this method because if you just do this that's not going to help you but this is the way you want to do it you want to go with a or d strafe and you want to jump f left click see they have no chance of getting you and as you can see i don't have any movement speed increase or anything So this is applicable to a lot of uh, different types of mobs. Um, I've done this on a lot of big mobs. I've done it on different uh, mature types of Kerberos, for instance. I've done it on a lot of Triskerons that are higher level. Uh, even tried it with Proteron. <laughs> uh, and Snark's not so way over here also work perfectly with that. Uh, anything you can outrun, you can kite, basically. That's that's the main method of this. I have actually killed uh, Globsters that are level 46 mobs uh, with this method as well. It's not always efficient, but if you want to make sure that you hunt something that you can't tank, then this is the way to do it. So as you can see, I can do this and I have now gained up pretty much all my HP since we started this video. 
So this is something that you should be able to do and you can always uh, do this method when sweating. But for this I recommend actually having the sweat tool active and just pressing F and left click. F left click. Now this is something I have shown in previous videos so you can see that as well. And as you see I just used the cursor as a target then. Now to finish off, we're gonna kill it with a barb. There we go. And as you can see, that's generally how you do it. Now, if you have any questions or if you find it difficult and you want me to show you, uh, please just whisper you right slash uh, W and then Alien Rogue Dodgers. And there you go. So without further ado, I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next video, which is going to come out shortly.